Hey guys, I haven't been around for a while, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, I am reporting to you from my bed. Um, let's see, it's been a year and two months since I've been out of surgery. Um, had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy back in April 30th, 2013, and today is July 28th, 2014. So yeah, I could have been out of the YouTube scene for a while now. So, the reason why I'm in bed because my back is out. Again. So, a little update on the whole health aspect. I want to point out, I'm not sure whether some, all, or any of it is actually related to surgery or not. It's just been a coincidence that everything started happening right after surgery, or maybe it's a combination of where I live in surgery. Not even sure yet. Um, where I'm suspecting mold in the basement is causing me to have issues, but we're also suspecting that my body's just wonkers in surgery. So there's many speculation with no actual hard evidence of absolute fact what's going on anywho um if you see my previous videos you'll see that i've been having fainting spells and other issues since last year around end of june begin july with my first episode where i fainted everything went crazy after that um i still have fainting spells out of the blue i was recently in the hospital several times in the past couple weeks so, yeah, in our ER and doctor's appointments, um, because of it. right now I actually have a headache still. Um, a couple of weeks back, I fell in the kitchen because I fainted, completely collapsed. My head started pounding really, really hard, and I just fell on the floor, and I hit my head even harder. And and I have tiles floor, so that I hurt it worse. Um, I did end an ER for that. Just, uh, because it was just out of the blue, no warning, and they just had major headache and then fell. So ever since then, my headache's been here, and it's been just like, I'm going to be a little shaky right now, sorry. It's been like, located here. Um, so yeah. I also fell on this side too, so when I fell, I hit my head, I actually fell on that side. Um, my new symptom now... Let me know. I'm using my iPad, so sorry about that. Um, my new symptom is seizures. Yay. I'm not epileptic. They can't figure out why I'm having seizures. They can't pinpoint the reason why. That's why one of the speculation is mold poisoning from this house. It is a small house. It's a ranch style. So the mold in the basement does travel pretty fast around here. You can actually smell it throughout the house. But we're speculating that maybe it's a combination of that and my body in shock. Uh, I don't really don't know. I could take wild guesses along with the doctors who are just taking wild guesses at this point. Um, so right now I'm not actually able to drive. Uh, I haven't gone to the gym in like six months, and the reason maybe because I fainted as well. When I exert myself in any ways, I get overheated, can't breathe, and I collapse. Um, yeah, that's not pleasant. So, I've not been able to go to gym unless I had a partner. Mm, I don't have a partner. I've been trying to get a personal trainer, but I don't have that kind of money. It's like, you know, $500 a month, and I don't have $500 a month for a trainer. So, yeah. I was trying to raise money and go fund me. But then seizure happened and I just canceled that and I'm canceling my gym membership because of it. Um, I can't drive. Even though I drove after my seizure, uh, my boyfriend took away the car privilege after my last episode while driving. It was to the point where I couldn't feel my leg and my lips went numb. So, while driving, yeah, I was almost home so he was able to meet me around the corner when this started happening so that was lucky of me but yeah like my left leg when um I still had control of my right leg so I was still able to drive had my hazard light on just in case I had to pull over 
Um, so yeah, that was not a pleasant. After that, he just took away the car privilege. Um, I do drive unless, you know, the only time I drive is when I really, really, really have to, super close. And, oh, excuse me, I had to be on there. It is raining. It's one of those days where you just want to be on. Mm. So, um, yeah, the only other time I drive is if another driver is actually with me at any point so like I said I really really have to but other than that there is no reason why I should have a seizure um but they're trying to figure out why I'm having seizures I don't know so yeah I just I just want help right now at this point but anyways so I just want to give you guys a snippet update that I'm still alive, but my body is like, uh, <laughs> um, I did get one insight view from a psychiatrist when I had one of my episodes where it looks like and seems like an anxiety slash panic attack, but I'm not anxious about it, they were stressed about anything, so it's just weird, but I was having back to back one day and the EMT decided to tell the doctors I was like, having severe anxieties when I told him it wasn't anxiety, so, mm. Word choice of words put me in a psych ward. They release me five hours later because once you're in there, you have to go through the process. But yeah, I was not happy about that because mm, I wanted to see a doctor what was going on with my body, not psychiatrist. No offense to them. Anywho, <sighs> yeah, my light is coming from my phone. <laughs> There is no light in here. It's gloomy. It is a gloomy day. It's raining all day. Um, any hoot. The psychiatrist says she actually met one other person that w had gastric bypass and suffers similar episodes what I go through with suffering seizures. Um, but she described hers as what they call it a panic disorder where it's random panic attacks at any moment any given moment whatsoever you could be having the best time in your life and you will have a panic attack and that sucks because the last time you know when I went to the ER the day that I was having back to back panic attack is when I was where did I go? Oh, sorry I know that the movie theaters you know I was just, you know, watching the movie, relax, blah, 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 and I started having back-to-back -back attacks. Hmm. I was fine by the time I had to drive, but, you know, still scary having it that much. So, yeah. Panic disorder. We'll look it up. Um, so, if there's anybody out there who feels the same thing I go through, please contact me. You know, I'm, like, fed up. And frustrated and so many things all at once so that is that I am going to start this video and make another one for my GoFundMe page alright bye